Good evening, everyone. Hi. Welcome to the show. Good evening. I am up and running here, there, everywhere. Uh, we were unable to get on Twitch today, so bear with me. Yeah, we're, today we're going to be making something special, yes. I'm David Sponheim, the American Original. Good evening, everyone. Yes, today I have a an exciting meal, which uh, was inspired by a history channel. And we're going to, to look at the Maltese sea stack tonight. Yes. It's kind of like a Maltese dog. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we're not going to be cooking dog tonight. No. We are getting in the iVlog room. Uh, hold on, please. I would never cook a dog or a cat. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play my uh, background music while I get into the uh, the room. I am Mr. Right, in case you're wondering, uh, people wonder who are you, I'm, I'm the guy, I'm the right guy at the right time. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into our Cooking Up Politics show tonight on Periscope. Yeah, there was an update on Twitch that I, I didn't have, so we're going to go ahead and do this. 312-2020, going live. I will give you a link to the Periscope show if you're having broadcast difficulty over at the other channels. The Multi C Stack. 312, 2020, going live. I will give you a link to the Periscope. Okay, we're in there. All right. Now, on to the Vaughn Room. All right. I vlog, you've got that right here let's see if you want to go ahead to allow stack there we go i don't know what this beta tester thing is that i've logged but here here's the periscope link in case you want it yeah we got a couple people in the room max stevo scissor fight add the one welcome hey guys all right and uh the stock market had the largest crash since 1987 ostensibly the largest crash in history yeah, relative to the market. Thank you. I'm not beta cooking. No, that's beta testing over there at the uh, iVlog show. Hello, meal looks delicious. Yeah, Nick Samster. Let me show you what I've got here. Remember those uh, Baja shrimp that I picked up? This is amazing. It's a, a, a Thailand company that bought property in Mexico and they're raising shrimp in Baja. It really is a good marketing and a good plot, a process of keeping toxic waste out of your fish food. All right, so we will be cooking with that. Uh, we've got a little bit more of that organic uh, cauliflower I picked up. I've got about a half a pound of organic cauliflower. And that's uh, combined about $2 for this, because I bought it on sale, and a dollar for this, so $3 there. A dollar, uh, actually 50 cents for the pasta, because we are cooking that much pasta, just a half a thing of angel hair. So we're up to 350. Uh, sardines we have from uh, the Pacific Ocean. Pretty nice, Pacific Northwest. And these are from Morocco. So in the spirit of the Maltese people and the Malta, uh, they cook with a lot of different, uh, you know, it's a blend of cultures. If you've ever been to Malta, I haven't. I heard Trump is taking this pretty hard, yeah. Yeah, he needs to relax and take a chill pill and get a new vice president, yeah. Did you see Biden? He acts like we ought to have an open border right now. Can you believe this guy? No, actually, I'm less worried about eating from the sea, Darth, than I am from, uh, you know, cages of, of animals 
stuck in isolated conditions forced to eat gruel. I'd rather eat something that was living and free in the ocean. And it's a bigger place too, despite the toxicity. I don't eat at buffets anymore, I gave it up. Yeah, I washed my hands, we're all set. Everyone's canceling everything, the whole country's canceled. No, we're still rolling. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna get the back burger going on over here. That's not acceptable. That is unacceptable. I made that, you know, I made that flour thing last week, and I haven't used this thing since. Yeah, hang on. It's clean, it's not polluted, it's just, I, I just don't want a dirty pan. Yeah. All right, that's gonna have to do. Okay, I am going to get water because we're going to boil up a little bit of uh, spaghetti, angel hair. Okay, we're going ahead and getting the water here. Right, a dirty pan will build the immune system. You saw how people are washing their pans in India, right? In the gutter. Yeah, awesome. We have shrimp and sardines. Yeah, it's a seafood, it's a, it's a complete mix, yeah. So let's just get this going. I'm going to put that on a, uh, a level six burner. Okay. Great. I'm going to take this onion and work with it. Okay. I'm wearing socks today, so in case anyone catches my feet on camera, don't worry. I know you're. some of you are really inter interested in that. I can't imagine why, but whatever. It takes, it takes all kinds. Now, you don't have to have three little peppers like I have, but I got a good deal on these, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off. Yeah. Uh, so, essentially, 350 uh, $4.50. I got these for a dollar each. $5.50. And six fifty seven. I got that for $0.99. Cents. So, right around $7.00. Organic John Muir the best. Yeah. Always look for value. And when you see organic, no salt, it's the best. I'm also going to be cooking with a little bit of the uh, Safeway Select taco sauce, a mild green taco sauce. You can replace that with uh, any type of a hot sauce. You know. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well, except for those of you who invest in the stock market. Boy, what a bummer. No, my feet are in perfect condition, Rodney. That's that's a bannable offense. I'm going to go ahead and mute you. I have one of the most beautiful pairs of feet anyone could have. They are ideal. It is organic, yes. John Muir, Jeff. You get organic shipped to the uh, little St. James Island, right? Airdropped organic from Miami. Yeah, that's what I figured. I know, Tom. You keep telling me you're to mod for me. Everyone's going to work since they lost their, their 401k going to work. No, there's no work. There's no business. We now have the job of picking a better president. Okay? That's all of your jobs. Even if you are working, we need to pick a better president than Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And as you know, I'm kind of biased toward myself. Lighting's getting better, yeah. It's also not overcast today. It was pretty nice. I'm working on my solar uh, battery uh, housing for my big solar panel. I'm going to be a. I've got all these beautiful koi fish that need uh, great taking care of, and I'm building a larger waterfall for them to be, live under more aeration. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the old knife today. You notice I'm not cooking with uh, celery. We have some people that have an aversion to celery, but you can put celery in this dish if you want. Okay, just peeling it off. There we go. Hello. 
The one thing you need fingernails for, which I'm glad I have, is getting rid of the onion skin. All right. Okay, this whole onion's going in. It's a very nice onion. It's an organic onion. I really enjoy uh, buying big, big bags of organic onions for five ninety nine at Costco. Yeah, and I think things are a, a lot safer than you think right now. Remember, statistically speaking, this flu is not that big of a deal. Statistically. We have people dying of flu all the time, all around the world. Yes, I have garlic, yes. I'm going to use the rest of this garlic right here. It's got a little green coming up, so we're going to catch it right before it starts to sprout. So, look at the beautiful garlic we have here. It's gorgeous. I got this organic from Safeway, the O brand. I met a garlic grower for Safeway one year. Kind of cool. You know, they really go out of their way to pick good quality producers of food. I really respect that. And people are buying food at the organic section. I was over there at my Safeway uh, last, uh, well, when I bought this about two weeks ago before the virus started getting weird. That's a pretty busy store, so I kind of avoid Safeway. I like to shop when nobody's around, so you know it lowers my risk of getting the virus. Which, you know, I think everyone realizes is way overboard. You know, they're way overboard about what they're doing. But Donald Trump did the right thing by locking the border down. We don't need to worry about commerce. We need to get rid of this virus. So I commend him. And I, I, I'm sad to say that Joe Biden acted like a fool today, act, thinking we should open the border up and pretend like this is a... He's making it a, a, a partisan minority issue. People from all different kinds of, of, of... All different countries are welcome to come here once we resolve this. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, don't ever, ever do that again ever and Dave could we could we stuff more in his cargo what okay all right ready, ready to move on to the next step we've got a hot pan back here starting up I'm gonna spray my little virgin olive oil on here all right Squirt, squirt. Nice. Some light on. Yeehaw! Okay, I'm cooking up that. Uh, one of the things the Maltese people uh, do uh, is they live on sea salt. So I have some Himalayan sea salt I picked up from the Himalayas when I was visiting the ashram. And I'm going to use some of it right now. And actually, I, visit, I visited Ross for less, but I call it an ashram. Anyway, I got this for uh, $2.99, normally $7 at, Os at Ross for less. Anyway, I'm going to put a pinch of that in the water, okay? There we go. Okay, let's get the onions down. What do you say? Let's chop those onions up. Admittedly, it needs a little bit of a sharpening. I will admit that. Yeah, it's not like the really good knives up there. Okay, I'll get the good knives. You convince me. that tip off. All right, here we go. These are perfect. Always looking at the knife. Never cut without looking at the knife. Keeping an eye on where your fingers are, otherwise they'll be under the knife and you'll be bleeding out like a stuck hog. That would be very good. Okay, let's do this again. Give 
nice big pieces, big chunks. All right. Beautiful. Okay, throw that right on the, the hot pan without the, the garlic, just the onions. Oh, I missed a few. Of course, everything is hermetically sealed and clean here, so there's nothing to worry about. Okay, we're going to get that on there. Right, I'm going to prep some uh, tomato. I thought I grabbed another tomato. Let me grab another tomato. I thought about grabbing another tomato, but I didn't do it. Okay, these are nice Roma tomatoes. They're good for uh, for just the you know a little something in your sauce. But we're going to use the John Muir no salt organic tomato. Okay, we're going to get that stir frying right now with. The shrimp. Look at those big, beautiful shrimp from Baja. Wow. Now, normally you don't get a really good deal on that, but I'm, I'm getting it. I've got a great supplier. I'm going to keep that water in case I need some water. It has the shrimp taste in it. Well, better yet, I'm going to take that and put it in the, the water that I'm cooking the spaghetti in. Let me just go ahead and add that to it. A little bit, just for flavor. That'll slow down the spaghetti just a little bit, and I'll keep a little bit of this for uh, the roux. Okay, I'm going to throw some uh, dill wheat on this, which is essential. And I'm still kind of, I'm getting rid of my coriander. Uh, I just have no need for it. I, I figured it's a really good diuretic, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the uh, dish. Basically cilantro seed, gives you that fresh herb taste. It doesn't have a real strong scent though, whereas dill is better. Put about a half a teaspoon of dill on this entire dish. There you go. Okay, I'm going to cover this up and just kind of get those uh, onions grilling, get them grilling here. I can do a roux anytime you want. You'll eat your shoe. I Do I even know what a diuretic is? Of course I do, Tom. I'm not a, a medical professional. I'm a person who's been at the downside of this. Yeah, seeing bad medical professionals or pro-criminals give people over overdoses of diuretics and not really understand what they're doing other than to get their weight down. All right. So natural diuretics like art, like uh, asparagus, uh, dandelion weed, these are things that pull water out of your system and provide vitamin A and C. And the onions are really uh, fairly new. They're from uh, Bonnie's Best out in uh, Washington, or Oregon, organic Oregon. I got a big bag, $5.99. Yeah, you got the zero water filter right here if you need it. I highly recommend this product, zerowater.com. They are the best for a gravity-fed water filter. There's a lot of great distillers on the market, though. What is what on the counter? Oh, the water's boiling. Okay, let me get the, uh, the spaghetti has to be cooked first. Let me do that. Now, I just had a small container of spaghetti, so it's not like... A big amount. I'm using about a half a box. Oh, I smell the fish already. Now I prefer capellini or angel hair. This is angel hair. I would recommend a, a thin spaghetti. That's what the uh, the woman I saw who made a dish similar to this in Malta use. Kind of a cool concept. Yeah, I'll, so, I'll show you when I'm done. It's interesting. We're going to put it in this today. 
make sure this is nice and clean. Yeah, hey David, did you see Trump's address to the nation? Yeah, it scared the living daylights out of people, but he had to do it. Okay, as soon as you get that in there, you gotta smooth that pasta around, otherwise it'll stick. Give it a good stir. There you go. This angel hair won't take very long at all, and when I get ready to decant it, I'm gonna put it in this blue thing. All right. I'm gonna throw a little spritz of, uh, of Himalayan salt on the shrimp. Cooking, hey, I told you no N-words in here, okay, man? All right, you're out of here. Jeez, a little spritz of this Himalayan salt on the shrimp. And the shrimp can cook at level three for a little bit while I prepare the vegetables. All right. We're going with pepper because pepper adds a really unique taste to this dish. Now one of the things I do when I don't have any oil is I have a can of sardines here with oil and the other one is cooked, is in fresh water. This has 100% olive oil on it so I'm actually going to use that olive oil in this dish here right now. I'm going to thinly slice these peppers. We're not going to dice them. We're going long ways. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Nice, delicate red peppers. These are full of lycopene, which helps you fight prostate cancer if you're a man, and it's probably good for women, too. They've just never done any studies on it. These, along with tomatoes, have lycopene and watermelon have lycopene in them and lycopene seems to be a very good antioxidant that's very helpful at preventing cancer. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm about ready to turn that off. Look at that. I'm going to turn that off completely. But it's setting its own heat now. The angel hair literally needs about six or seven minutes. Hey, that's an inappropriate name. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Hey, here's the second cough held back. Whoa. You got the coughing. You got a lot of people coughing. One of the cans came from the North Pacific. My fellow Americans, tonight I want to speak with you about. Wow. Okay. So you think that he nearly coughed? You think he has the he has the flu? He couldn't even talk right, I know. I agree, I had the one. Trump was uh, almost like he was on Valium and a cough suppressants. You notice that feeling? I'm not Chris Hansen. Yeah, he's the old looking guy on YouTube. I'm the younger guy who's younger than him, but older than him. No, he's about a little, he's a little older than me. Rodney, please, you keep coming back. Yeah, I'm looking nice and sturdy lately, yeah. Well, you know, I'm starting to work out and prepare. You know, as the coronavirus kicks into gear, I get tougher. As uh, Hunter S. Thompson said, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. And that would describe my life. All right. He probably is. Okay, let's give those uh That's done. What you're looking for is a very nice al dente, not too mushy, so that's perfect. Okay, we're going to drain the water out of this. Getting every last bit of it. I like to clean the, the pan out when I do this. 
Saves me time. Okay, so we're going to put that right on top of this dish right here. See that? And I'm going to put a little olive oil in there. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of dill weed in there. I'm just going to set that on the side for now. Kind of let, let it marry the, the, the taste of the dill weed. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to open up this can of sardines. And this is an amazing deal for sardines. It's like a dollar at Costco. And these have no bones in them. And they're, uh, they're raised in Northern California. Or no, I'm sorry, Pacific Northwest. So yeah, that's pretty close. No, excuse me. These are the product of Morocco. Thank you. It says product of Morocco right there. These are sourced in the Pacific Northwest, sustainably caught in the North Pacific, scale free. And this is in water and sea salt. So we're going to use everything in these products in this dish. Okay, go ahead and pour the oil in there. You can just move your, uh, your shrimp around. They're still cooking. It's a very low flame, level three. Okay. Putting all the oil from the, the sardines in there. Okay. Covering it up. You can actually put all of your uh, your peppers in now. Get those rolling a little bit. Okay, in about uh, two, three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and, actually, I'm, I'm probably gonna pull the shrimp in just a bit. But before I do, I'm going to take the, thank you. I know. I, well, she's doing great, actually. I do have extra toilet paper. I'm steam frying. This is not just steam, it's steam fry. Oh, it's going to look good, yeah. I want to get that heat up a little bit, so I'm going to crank it to level six right now. Okay. As it's uh, thoroughly cooking the shrimp, the shrimp's almost done. Right, I'm going to go ahead and add cauliflower to this dish. And I've got this organic cauliflower I picked up. And I want to use that because remember we talked about how beneficial cauliflower was. Yeah. As you probably know, everyone, I have absolutely made no, not one penny on our show, and there are people making millions of dollars trying to shut us down, so they say. And it's pretty amazing how powerful the good message that we're delivering of a third party is, that the richest people in the world, like the Council on Foreign Relations, have thrown millions of dollars at Mark to stop me because they know that I'm their worst enemy. Their big plan for humanity, their big pandemic, will be intercepted by this political movement that we're building right now. So I want to thank all of you for participating in this real natural movement and realize that we're doing it against all odds. Okay. Go ahead and chop that base off of there. Get the flowers off. Give every, everything like a, a basic chop, like one inch. Doesn't have to be too much. But the stock should be chopped very fine. All 
all right now I'm gonna lift this off I'm gonna pull the shrimp out move everything around kind of circulate everything around Perfect. Okay, let that cool off because I've got to take the skin off of that. Then drop your cauliflower in, spread it around. And give it a splash of water. And I even have some of that roux that I had the uh, shrimp soaking in. I'm going to throw that in there too. Okay, remember I'm at level six. So I'm going to take and infuse all the flavors that are in there into the actual cauliflower. Because cauliflower is a non-gluten. This has gluten in it, but it's a non-gluten alternative. So you're stretching it out, reducing your gluten by 50% with this dinner. Yeah. So using that juice that the shrimp soaks in really adds flavor to this dish. Waste is level. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be ready for the 2020 election. As soon as you get me to the stage in front of the American people, I'll look really good. Admittedly, I've been letting myself go eating after hours, but not anymore. So now I'm cutting back on carbos and, you know, but hey, I realize I have to get to 200. I'm 225 normally, but I realize I have to get thinner and look more like uh, Barack Obama, the crackhead, or Joe Biden, the aging Alzheimer's patient, or Donald Trump, the obese, uh, incredibly piggish man. So we have to beat those guys. I'm doing great, Tom. Yeah, those sardines do look good. Let's open the other thing of sardines. Yeah. You notice I haven't put any tomatoes in yet? Oh, he is an incredibly piggish man. This one has juice from the Pacific Northwest in it. Harvested off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. And look at how these things are packed. They, they have all this steamed juice in them. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw the sardines in now. Leave them whole. Okay. All right. I like to always recycle, so I recommend rinsing your cans out and recycling them. This is a tin, you know, it's pretty valuable stuff. I always believe in recycling. I don't think we've done enough recycling. Found a little piece of tin in there. Put that with that. Okay, let me get my paper towel. Okay. Great. Uh, you're playing Lord of the Rings online? Okay, well you can do it. You do that now, 2012 happened. Yeah. And then come back. You're cool. You can always watch this later. You don't want to miss your Lord of the Rings friends. The sardines are great. Yeah, I would eat them right now, but you know, with my mouthpiece, kind of difficult. Yeah, they used eggs in it in their version. I haven't gotten to the egg part, Corona cooking. Yeah, that's the part that is really interesting. The Maltese cook with a rabbit, 
They cook with eggs. They cook with uh, anything they can get. It's a simple food, uh, but they have lots of sardines and shrimp. So this is this is everything they would have. So let's get an egg out. Parmesan, I think, and a little bit of cheddar. Yeah, the egg is, is going to be interesting. It's going to kind of bind it together. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and rinse my hands again. I'm going to pull the shrimp. Now that it's cool, I'm going to pull the shells off. Okay. There we go. I'm going to throw the shrimp in there. I'm going to turn it down to level three, keeping the shrimp whole. Look at those beautiful shrimp, they're gorgeous. Yeah, everything's whole. Okay, pulling the shrimp skin off and the tail. There we go. We're almost done with this. These are perfect. They didn't get overcooked. You don't want to cook these more than about seven minutes. Otherwise, they get kind of rubbery. Whereas with lobster, you want to cook it a little longer. You know, you'd think the opposite, but lobster takes a little longer to cook. I understand lobster is a you know, lower cost now, so a lot of people are getting in on the lobster deals that are out there right now. They're promoting the lobster industry with this coronavirus. Okay, so this is all pretty much, you know, just something you'd probably throw away, right? Actually, no. Add water to it. Push it around in the water. Get all that juice off of there. Okay. Throw the juice in the pan with the other juice. You got a roux. Give it a stir. Light stir like that. Now prepare your tomatoes. Nice dice. Do one more. Looks like this knife needs a little sharpening. I didn't think it would, but it does. Always look at the knife. Never take your eyes off the knife. That's when mistakes happen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put all that in there. Oops, oh my, the camera, crash cam. Keeping it at level three. Making sure all the skins are off of the garlic. Okay. Dice the garlic. Roughly uh, three to five cloves, depending on how big the garlic is. All right. All these knives need a little sharpening. Okay, here we go. Take the spaghetti.
put it on top. And take the, the tomato sauce and pour that on top of the spaghetti. But before you do, I want you to put a little Italian seasoning on top of this. About a half a teaspoon. Now pour. Man, that smell. Man, that's quite a smell. Wow, aromatic, I must say. Pour the tomato sauce on top. Keep cooking. All right. <sighs> it's pretty cool. Now what's happening right now is everything is kind of steaming up into the spaghetti. So all those flavors are imbued in the spaghetti and the cauliflower and all those great fish smells that are there. So what you're going to do right now is take a spatula. I'm going to use a wooden spatula and I'm going to go into the spaghetti and I'm going to kind of loosen it in there. And at the same time, I'm going to rotate the sardines and the shrimp up to the top. Okay, here we go. this up to level six again and now I'm really going to steam fry this but now I'm going to top it off a little bit of Tabasco sauce or in my case green sauce green taco sauce but you can use Tabasco or uh, Cholula I like Cholula or well it's got to be mild but I'm going to use a little Patty LaBelle number three So right now I'm going to top it off with a little bit of that. I have not put the garlic in yet. Okay, right about a half of a teaspoon. And a couple shakes of Patty LaBelle. Alright. That's the equivalent of a Tabasco sauce, basically. Okay, again, take that method and just kind of go in there and shuffle it around. And keep cooking at a high flame. Hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Good. Oh, we got some pepper plants. Seeds. Oh, good. Okay. Those are not tomatoes from the garden. Those are Roma tomatoes I bought at a store. There are planes flying over the house, yes. Sarah doesn't have to come into the show. She's totally free of her time. You don't have to be in the show, Sarah, if you don't want to. Hello. Hi, Sarah's here. There she is. Oh, wow. Get your hair down. I know. I made. Uh, <laughs> I didn't put it up today, so. Yeah. Sounds cool. You were telling me you Oh, well, I'm getting ready to prepare this meal. I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> Today I'll be using a uh, an indigenous an indigenous pan from the uh, region of of Malta. Uh, obviously, the Maltese look is important here.
Malta is known for its patterned tiles. So in the spirit of the tile world, this is a beautiful plate. It has the, the full effect that we're going to get here. Okay, what I'm going to do is take and open up the center of this dish. Right in here like that. And put the garlic in the middle. Pressing it down into the, into the middle of this dish. Okay, right in there like that. See that? Then take an egg and put it right there in the center. You can break it up and give it a little spin, a swirl like that. Close it up and then turn it down to level three. I'm getting close. Five minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm not ignoring my fans. There's a cough link. I know I can't possibly, you know, handle your cough link and do the show. I just can't. I'm sorry. You're right. We're going to go up to nine people tonight. Seven for nine. All right. Now the shrimp is breaking down in the dish, but at level three now, we're about ready to set the egg and we're going to rip. I'm going to show you what we're doing. It's kind of cool. I can't wait. Now there's a woman who's a famous cook in Malta that makes a dish similar to this. And she made it for the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, and she's still alive, and she's still uh, quite an attraction on the, uh, the island. Trump's rendition of, of his speech last night, um, My fellow Americans, I'm heavily dosed on Valium and <coughs> trying to hold back my cough, but I want everyone to know that we're not going to have any when come into our country from overseas in Europe except near my golf clubs. If you're a, a visitor of my wonderful golf club, you can go through UK or Ireland, no problem. Anyone else can't come. And then later he finds out, oh, we're still going to allow goods and services from other countries. Okay, here we go. That egg is pretty much right in there, see it? Now go all the way down to the bottom and give it a rotation, a swirl. Okay. Kind of rotate the egg, the egg around a little bit. What you're trying to do is get give the egg a chance to actually give it form. Okay, you're still you're still cooking at level three. The fork is held at an angle to, to get every single position rotated up into the dish. All right? Yeah, we're going to add Parmesan to the pasta right now. That's the next thing. Okay, now you can add a little Parmesan at this point if you want. I always like to use a little white pepper in this, you know. You don't mind if I use a little white pepper as opposed to black pepper? Yeah, this has that extra something. I don't know what it is. Okay. Let me turn everything off. Place your pan on top of the dish, like that. I'm using Mikasa from the Mediterranean here, 
and this is the Apollo series. Yeah, so we're actually authentic right down to the line. It doesn't get more authentic than this. You know, I've been criticized for making meals that just aren't that appealing, and I, I want this to be kind of a, a special moment for you and your loved one as you ponder the fate of the world. I was going to call these end of days sea stack or apocalypse now sea stack or zombie apocalypse sea stack, but I am going to add cumin, yes, on the top of it. I'm going to rinse this out. I don't really need it. Like end of days apocalyptic stack, you know. You know, I didn't. I was able to spare that. Good. Okay. That's the big move I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put it right here. By holding this, you can't let it sit there too long or it gets too hot. But by holding it like that, and if it's too hot for you, you can always use like a towel, like that. And this is gonna take some wrist strength. Don't try this without, you know, some experience moving things. <sighs> Ta-da! Wow. I really could feed like 10 people with this. Wow. Ma <laughs> this is the mother of all, of all stacks look at that wow ha that came out better than I expected okay go ahead and put it all together like this top it with cumin cumin is a wonderful uh, herb that really adds flavor and it's very good for you Wow, look at that. Give it a good Parmesan cover. Now, I normally would add feta cheese to this or possibly goat cheese to keep with the, uh, the, the proper, but this looks perfect the way it is. It is now a breed of sea stack. So we are done, folks. This is it. Complete meal. Let me see if I can get a topper for this. Hello. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover it with this for presentation at the dinner table. But this is it. Make no mistake about it. I'm going to serve it right out of there. So you could definitely feed nine people with this. Thank you everyone for watching. Enjoy. Have fun. Yeah. The best thing about cooking is having fun. I'll be in the chat room to start the show in about two minutes. Thanks for watching. Take care. Mr. Right. See you again. <laughs>